Hello students, let us discuss energy level diagram for electrons in an atom. The relative energies of various orbitals can be shown by an arrangement which is known as energy level diagram. Let us first see the energy level diagram for the case of hydrogen atom. When you observe the energy level diagram, here energy is increasing you can see the arrow mark the energy is increasing in this in this direction so when you observe this diagram here you can find that energies of various orbitals in an hydrogen atom it is shown here that is in the first orbital that is 1s have lowest energy then second shell third shell fourth shell that means the lower energy is for the first shell then second shell, then third shell, then fourth shell. That means the energy is increasing in this direction. So lowest energy is for the first shell in which there is 1s orbital. In the second shell which have 2s and 2p, it is observed that both have same energy. When you check the plot here, both have same energy. So that is the case of second. In the third you can see 3s, 3p and 3d all in the same line. So it shows that all these have same energy. In the fourth case that is the fourth shell 4s, 4p, 4d and 4f. All these are in the same line. In the energy level diagram it shows that they have same energy. This is because the energies of various orbitals in a hydrogen atom depends only upon the value of principal quantum number that is n. It is independent of the value of L that is azimuthal quantum number. So in, in other words we can say that all the subshell in a given principal shell that is S, P, D and F have, have same energy. For example in the case of second shell 2S and 2P have same energy. Similarly, the third shell 3s, 3p, 3d have same energy. So we can say that all the orbitals of a particular principal quantum number have same energies. When you compare the case of fourth shell that is n equal to 4, in that case the energies of 4s, 4p, 4d and 4f, all the subshell of fourth shell have same energy. So, this is the case of hydrogen atom. So, we, when you arrange the orbitals in the increasing order of energy, we can say that it will be in this way. That is, minimum energy is for 1s, then 2s, 2p that have equal energy, which have gray, um, greater is 3s, which is equal to 3p, 3d and when you compare with 3, the 4 will have greater energy and 4s energy, 4p, 4d and 4f energy will be same. So this is the order of um, energies of the orbitals in the case of hydrogen atom. But it is observed that uh, other than the hydrogen atom, the energy level will be different, uh, not in this way. But in the case of multi-electron atom, that means the atom which consists of more than one electron, the energies of orbitals having the same value of n but they have different value of L. As we have discussed, for S it is equal to 0, for P it is equal to 1 and so on. So, the orbitals in a particular shell having the same number of n but they have different value of L. This means that energies of the orbitals depend upon the value of n as well as the value of L. So when you look at the figure here, that is the energy level diagram. When you observe that uh, the lowest energy is for 1s, then 2s and then 2p. But in the case of hydrogen, we found that 2s and 2p have same energy. But in this 2p have greater energy than 2s. Then 
3s, then 3p, then 4, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s and so on. So, it is observed that in the multi-electron atoms, here the energies depends upon both the values of n and l. So, because of this, you can find that there is variation in the case of energies here. So, it is represented in this way. So, when we make a sequence of orbitals in the increasing order, we will get 1s, then 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 3, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d and so on. So, how you remember this? It can be easily remembered by this diagram. So, when you make all S together in one line, you can see all S are in one line, P are in one line, D are in one line and F are in one line. So, if you make the sequence in this way, then make the line in this way, that is after 1S, then it comes 2S. After 2S, it comes 2P, then 3S then 3p, 4s, then 3d, 4p, 5s and so on. So, this diagram will help you to make the sequence which is shown here and it is very important to learn the sequence in order to write electronic configuration for a particular element. So, all of you learn the sequence better first try in this way and once you have learnt then you can without the help of this chart you can make this sequence so in the sequence the most important part is still here 4 as 3d and the usually whatever examples you will be using it will be till here so it is important that all of you to learn the sequence that sequence means it will be in the same order you should not change the order here so learn the sequence in this way get by hearted thoroughly First you try with this diagram and then learn the sequence. So in the next video we will be discussing the electronic configuration that will be based on the sequence. So this is all about we have discussed in this video that is the energy level diagram for hydrogen in which we found that the orbitals in a particular principal quantum numbers have same energy. And that orbitals which have same energy are called as degenerate orbitals. But in the case of multi-electron atom, it is found that the energies have some variations. Which you can easily learn through that diagram. That is the exact diagram which was discussed in this video. So all of you practice the sequence of writing the orbitals in a particular the prescribed way which I told you so that in the next video we will be discussing the electronic configuration. Thank you everyone.